Welcome back. Let's begin with the uh, front pages. The Ghanaian Times this morning says, government offers jobs to persons with disability to uh, reduce poverty among people living with disability. Uh, we're told that the Wyoming Oil Examination at the Supreme Court has been adjourned to July 2. The Daily Graphic this morning says, Prempe College wins National Science Math Quiz. Aquinas second at the Saddle third celebration marked by theft of quiz mistresses bag and boss workers renew confidence in the MD uh, 197 buses um, ideal only 48 on road as routes not ready now daily guide says don't sack MD boss staff say and uh, Ibrahim grabs juicy deal NDC signs box size contract December 29 uh, 2016 BNFT this morning says Oforiata to announce diaspora bonds in July and uh, court shoots down IFC OPEC fund plea. The Daily Statement this morning reports that justice short calls for probe NLA Parliament payment saga. STC back in action. Accra Kumasi service resumes Tuesday. And Nanakumia in charge there. The Finder newspaper this morning says Bost staff back MD will resist any attempt to interdict him. They won. And STC is back on Accra Kumasi route with the Big Bang. Comes with a photo of Nanakumi. And finally, the Daily Heritage this morning says 2017 National Mass and Science Quiz. Quiz mistress robbed handbag, mobile phone, stolen on stage at Sprempe College floors, uh, St. Thomas Aquinas. We're told that the bag has been found. But I've been joined by two guests uh, to my immediate right. Uh, it's Dr. Matthew, uh, Martin Luther. Obing is a former DC of Aguna Stock. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you, my brother. How are you Good doing? Morning. Absolutely. Mr. Sampine is the MPP Ashanti Regional Secretary. Chief, welcome. Thank you. Did you did you attend Prepper College? I went to the best school in Ghana, St. Augustine's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so St. Augustine's was not in this year's. I've I've heard your, your boys say you are West African champions and not national. Yeah, we won't, we won't, we won't give the opportunity to some of the boys to also participate. Okay. You know, we went to a college. Okay. They, they were in school. So oh, we wanted, Prempe, we wanted, Prempe wanted the, the, school, the school boys to <laughs> participate. I, my, congratulations to Prempe Do. My son went there. Oh, OK. At the okay. College of and so my elder brother was also a tutor there. Interesting. Yeah, so I have some um, affiliation, affiliation with them. And Napo too. Yesterday, he was all over ah. our social media. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> the Prempe guys. But congratulations. And my, my school fell away where I teach mm. and where I attended with fell way by the right. side before right. even the fan outs. But right. I know we're going to pick up and, and, and do the wonders Absolutely. again. Absolutely. Absolutely. Doc, you want to add a comment quickly? Oh, I attended Kita Business School in right. Secondary <laughs> School. Very great schools. <laughs> do, uh, but, but you didn't show your face. We didn't show our face. Um, maybe <laughs> in the years to come, mm. you see Kita Business School is purely a business school, it's not okay. a science school. But in Sama Secondary School, mm. could pick up. Um, in the next few years, right. who knows? But you know, these ones have been skewed for mm. those big schools mm. and um, single sex schools. I am so concerned how we harness these talents, the sharp brains that we found in them. Mr. Sampai, I'll start with you, and you're in government. How do we harness them beyond the competition so that it's just not the euphoria and the excitement that comes with it? But these are raw talents scientists, doctors, engineers waiting to be harnessed. Where do we go from here? Yeah, not only in government. I'm, I'm a teacher. And, well, unfortunately, when I was in school, the subject that scared me the most was the sciences and, right. the, and the mathematics. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm, I'm into the same boat. It comes in fact, I know we are so much phobia that. Mm -hmm. But um, those who, who went on it, and as the world is moving now, mm -hmm. technology driven by science, right. I believe it's time that we give all the motivation to all the schools. Mm. You go to several schools that are not head, and you have talents there. Right. Right. Uh, I remember some about two years ago, there was this boy who was doing some um, um, inventions. Okay. And he came from, let me put it in quotes, a very village secondary school. Right. And so I believe that, yes, we need to push it forward. Mm. When you look at the manifesto of the New Patriotic Party on education, mm. Emphasis on, on the sciences, the mathematics and mm. technology, mm. the STEM, mm. that we want to make sure that, yes, the equipment and the, and the tutors are trained, right. given periodic um, um, refresher courses mm. and all that, mm. supply the equipment and the material for 
for them to develop because okay. as if we're going to go into industrialization as has been the the, f the focus and the vision of the president, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. definitely we need to take sciences right. seriously mm -hmm. and, and, and work on it. I believe that, yes, mm -hmm. as a government, as a nation, this is not a partisan matter. Right. As a government, as a nation, mm -hmm. we need to make sure, yes, all facets of education, right. especially our sciences and the rest are taking very good care of. Doc, you are DC, mm -hmm. and usually you find mm -hmm. most of these secondary schools within your catchment mm -hmm. area. What help can we give them? Uh, because Beyond this, the argument has also been that most of the schools don't have um, the requisite facilities. Yeah. So you go into a regular science lab, some schools don't even have it. Yeah. And those uh, science resource centers, you find that they don't have the test tubes, the beakers, they don't have the reagents to even do their yeah. practicals and all of that. What can we do as a nation? I think um, what we should have done um, as a nation is when we established those science resource centers. You know, they did it for cluster of schools. Right. So it was expected that uh, subsequent governments should have extended to others, at least if we should have added one resource center in every catchment area right. in the eight years, and another regime come in the next eight years, they add another one. But this time, we would have at least have three schools to a resource center. Right. And this would have even opened it up for more of the talents mm -hmm. that uh, uh, from those less privileged schools like my school in Saban Secondary School that could have not been able to have the opportunity to come. And making sure that we equip those mm. science resource centers. Mm. Now you go to those science resource centers, I mean, they are better off as the time that it came to be than today. Right. It's only the big schools that maybe the old boys and um, the old girls are helping mm. to equip that. Government have really, I mean, after the first time, we have really, most government have really neglected those science resource right. centers. I mean, if we really want to embark on serious industrialization, mm -hmm. this is the point to start. Right. So that the poor guy that gets to other schools or those so-called less privileged schools mm -hmm. also have the opportunity because there are a lot of guys from there. Right. It's not that you get to um, all the big schools mm. that um, um, you can do best. There are people down there okay. who can do best. Mm. And um, one thing too that we need to look at is that the schools that train the okay. uh, science and math teachers, right. we really have to have most of them going to the less privileged schools as well because okay. uh, you look at those schools that have been winning. I mean, those teachers are still around. Mm. All the, the same set, same of, set of teachers and se set of people. Mm. And I think that um, all those materials mm. that they use for this particular quiz should be disseminated to all the schools and let the teachers have mm. um, time enough to prepare them. Right. Because uh, if we don't do that, then we just saying that, okay, we know there's few schools because after the preliminaries, mm -hmm. I mean, the primaries that they do, you go to Lego and they right, are there. Right. Within one week, almost all the, uh, the other less schools are, are gone. They are, they, they are gone. Mm -hmm. And uh, we come back to those yeah, I understand that all the presec schools were rooting for presec Lego and then they were also shut down. Yeah, I also attended the presec yes, in Sabah uh, Secondary in Sabah School. Yeah. School. That's a school. duplication yeah. of presec schools anyway. So, yes. so, but on a more serious note, you raise a very instructive point and I, I'll come back mm. to Mr. Sampaino on that one. I, I mean, as a teacher, I, 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 you have to teach and then there's frustration where you don't have what it takes to teach the people. You know what to teach, but you don't have what it, what it takes to teach them. What, what level of frustration can a teacher absorb? It's a, it's a difficult situation, especially when you are confronted with the, that there are no textbooks, there are no materials, and the rest. At times, we, we go a little innovative, where mm -hmm. we become um, kind of a protect, okay. appropriate technology to okay. go. Okay. Um, when we went to the training college, uh, we were taught that um, we should be innovative okay. situations to guide you to mm -hmm. come to some level where you can appropriate certain measures. Right. Like you see, um, it was training on social media when where a teacher was using some Stone. slab of stone right. to teach them how to Use manipulate the mouse. Right. And it was kind of innovative right. though, but it wasn't the best of things. Um, it's so frustrating, yes. Now, that's why I'm saying that it's important that we all look at it from that angle, right. that as citizens, as, as a nation, the focus should be on education. Right. I always give this example, mm. the Malaysian example. Mm. Uh, when they came to take the, the, the palm canal seeds from Ghana, right. 
the first 10 years of their development, they dedicated to, to, to technical and, 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 and science education. First 10 years. Mm. And look at where they've got into <laughs> rubbing shoulders with the Americans and exactly. the, the, the Chinese and the, and, and the Europeans. Mm. And I believe that, yes, if we want to go that far, we need to concentrate on that. Absolutely. Then also, we don't mm. need, the, 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 when you are the, uh, the teaching service, mm. there's always the tendency that people into their sciences see themselves as kind of superior Higher, right. in, in some instance. We also need to keep that situation because um, if you, you are the scientist and you don't have the businessman and the, and the educationist and the, the, the artist right. to help you move along, mm. the science is not going to get anywhere. But because as we're talking about science, mm. we also not need to forget about other right. um, aspects of education mm. that, yeah, in totality, we give them the push. But I believe, as he said, Martin said, um, we need to do more by equipping them with laboratories there the requisite mm. apparatus and the radar they need for these experiments. Thank you. Uh, the Ghanaian Times. Um, uh, yeah. The quick request I'll make mm. to uh, Mr. Sampai mm. and um, since he's in government, he's, he's <laughs> he's he's they, 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 they neglected the um, science resource centers. Okay. We, we never and did. this time round, mm. um, on top of the science resource center, they have had the e-blocks. What I expect them to do as a nation in this era where everybody is talking about um, the science uh, and mass quiz, mm. that they should go back and make sure, even if they will not be able to build new ones, they should get the buses available right. and ensure that fuel is in the bus anytime the other schools want to move to the center right. and equip the centers mm. and retrain mm. those teachers mm. at the centers mm. to be able to uh, mm. really teach because science, I'm also a teacher, I've right. taught in the basic school, I've okay. taught in the polytechnic as right. well. It's not frustrating enough. It's very, very frustrating if you are teaching without uh, right. um, um, the requisite <coughs> um, okay. equipment. So I, 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 I said we shouldn't go on Politics. partisan lines, oh, but, but, but at least we did not neglect it allows eight years of the new patriotic party. We do not need to so, 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 so you say we can do, do better. Let's, let's do, do better. Yes. Do Great. Do Let, do page 16 of the, uh, of the <laughs> Guardian <laughs> Times this morning <laughs> says, we support <laughs> the stewment of Galamse Chiefs, National House of Chiefs. And uh, there's a strong statement signed by the president of the uh, National House of Chiefs, Togbia Feather, the uh, 14th. And he says that it's copied to uh, all media houses that they support the stewment of chiefs, uh, in whose backyard Galamse uh, activities are ongoing or who support Galamse activity by one way or the other. Is this a good call, Mr. Pine? Um, today is supposed to be a Red Friday. After Mr. Mehul brought the 21-day ultimatum, 30-day ultimatum, um, we seem to have gone silent. We don't know what the next roadmap is. And then the National House of Chiefs speaks. Is that the way to go? Yeah, we, we're not going silent on it. When you go to the sites, yes, you have some recalcitrant persons dodging and make, trying to uh, go around right. the law mm. or the regulations or the directives. Mm. But the, the, the is, um, security agencies and the ministry are working mm. hand in hand in all the other sectors. So they've been going around, they've been having stakeholder meetings. I remember back to three weeks ago, they were in the Ashanti region and mm. We had the uh, very important deliberations that mm. we went around to all these sites to get people synthesized about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most of the places that we went, um, the, 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 the traditional authorities, mm -hmm. few, yes, the environment should be protected. And as, as a, a, a sustainable development student too, I believe that yes, um, we need to sustain the environment, not for today, mm. but for the future generation. Right. So if the custodians of the lands, mm. and we also have been talking about it, that yes, m traditional authorities are part of this right. Galamse right. menace that is mm. killing us. And mm. if they, 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 they all understand, yes, at that level, that the, um, at that council, mm. that they feel that yes, traditional authorities should be mindful of their involvement right. and therefore, if you engage in that, mm. they're going to make sure that you are destroyed or you are punished for, for that act. Mm. I, I believe it's in the right di direction. Mm. People will look at it from another angle, but let's be a little nationalistic this mm. time around. Let's look at the future of the country, mm. not what we're going to get and fill our pockets today, but what we're going to do for the rest of, of the of, of the, of the citizens that are going though, to come up uh, with Mr. Pine, uh, 21 days, uh, 
uh, the ultimatum ran out. We brought another 30 day. So what's the next step? What's the plan beyond having the team out there chasing the recalcitrant? The what's next the plan? that yeah. I know on, that which is on the table of the, of the minister and the, the ministry is um, how to sanitize the regulations um, right. around operations of small scale and mining in general. Right. That those who have um, licenses. Mm. Are they the right persons? Are the concessions the true concessions? Mm -hmm. Are they working within the laws? Mm -hmm. Are they prospecting or mm -hmm. are, are they exploring? Right. If you have a prospective license, you, don't you cannot explore. And if you have been as into exploration, are you exploring the right side that we're giving to the concession that we're giving to you? Mm -hmm. Are you doing reclamation? Are you protecting the environment mm -hmm. in all that? So that's what they are going, they are looking at now. I know that in the next week or two they are going to roll out mm. the main thing because they gave them an alternative of about i think six months to work within that they'll come up with the modalities right. so, uh, as so we speak we're told that the licenses have been freezed so yeah. no licenses have been uh, mm. but what is the consequence in terms of foreign exchange earning for us and, and all of that do we know yeah i uh, when uh, yesterday uh, three days ago i was talking to one of the top guys at the PMMNC, right. and they were telling us that, yes, um, they've had reduction in um, the gold that they bought from the open market. That mm -hmm. tells you that Galamse is sub uh, the activity is going down, right. which, is, which is good. Mm -hmm. um, the resources that come to them are not falling that much. Okay. But those who were bypassing the law, because people were going to sell outside the country, right. but not going through um, the PMM and mm. and all the, uh, the good the, the authorized marketing companies right. in Ghana. Right. Okay, but the most important is not about the revenue that is going to fall. Mm. But the most important thing is that are we able to sustain it? Are we able right. to to do what is right mm. and save the environment mm. and save the country and mm. get something better for the generation right. to come? Are we getting a blueprint, uh, Doctor mm. uh, Luther? Are we getting a blueprint to say that if the MPP is out of government? and the NDC, for example, comes in there, we are still going to follow this roadmap and not say that, oh, this was their plan, let's scrap it and let's go on. I, I, is that a way to go? Well, it's not going to be the way for the NDC as um, we come in January uh, 2021. <laughs> you have, you have so hopes, yeah. don't you? Very uh, After reading really the 455 pages. <laughs> wow. You know, um, <laughs> for what we are seeing now, right. uh, the way they have started. Mm -hmm. and, um, it's just six months. Six months. Uh, I mean, we have just given them a very long time for the honeymoon. But in the honeymoon, we have seen a lot of things going on. So um, we know definitely that <coughs> for something that is good in this nature, we're going to support. But let's come back to the call for to be a right. I think that is a step in the right direction. Mm -hmm. um, the traditional authorities are the people, even before the concession will be approved, mm -hmm. a DCE or whatever that will approve it have to go to the chiefs mm -hmm. and ask the chief of the area uh, within the concession <coughs> to ask whether they give their consent or not. Mm -hmm. Some of them are very corporate. I remember when I was at DCE, there was a concession that is close to the Ayesu River where okay. we all get our water source. Right. Uh, immediately he came, it was this Chan same Chinese people I went to the chief of Duyakwa, right. um, uh, Nana Kujua Mwakwa, and okay. uh, I sat down with him, Nana, this thing we are not going to do it, but I need a letter from you, I need your backing, and he did that. So if you get <coughs> the chief saying that, no, we are frowning to this, mm. people will not be allowed to do right. it. So Togbi's call is in right direction, mm. and I think adding the punishment to that, it has moved from the political uh, uh, um, terrain. Uh, terrain. But for to leave it to the politicians, I'm telling you that... Um, I thought that after mm. uh, getting the people off, the next step we should have taken right. was to reclaim most of the lands of that, the land. right. but you know, we don't hear anything about it. We are talking about renewal of licenses. I think the ban on licenses, mm. if this current government is really serious, everybody is backing them. Right. Even those in opposition, we are backing them to do such a thing. So what they have to do is that first they sh we should think about the plan to reclaim okay. about 70% of the land right. before we think about licenses. Right. Because if you give them the licenses, they are going back there. Mm. And we know that this thing cut across. The guys in MPP, the guys in NEC, Ghanaians are doing that. Right. And the most unfortunate thing is that we are not the sole beneficiary. Mm. You know, I was one day walking in the streets of Abu Dhabi when somebody said, if I have an excavator, 
he will give me a certain quantity of gold from Ghana. I said, look, do you know I'm a Ghanaian? Hmm. He was I, telling you? That I will get, he just, some kilos of gold every day if I get an excavator. Wow. I looked at him and I laughed. I said, well, I've been in a position where I approve for license for miners before. Wow. Now, our approach to this, mm. we should not relent on our effort that everybody have backed us. We have gone in there, so we are going back Nicodemusly mm. and give people license and telling those people. Mm. It's just going to be awarding to those people that are our faithfuls. Mm -hmm. But now, the call, if the minister really mean to sustain mm. what he has done, Mm. Then let's go all out, reclaim those lands, and make sure that the people, because we have the excavators and all those things there, right. why do they release it back to them? Mm. Use those same equipment mm. to reclaim the lands. Mm. You are a, a former DC, so you have a catchment. Mm. Do you see improvement where you are in terms of the, the rivers and the pollution of Seine? Do you see any improvement ever since they. I never them? allowed that. I never allowed that in my district. Mm -hmm. And uh, I told the chief that, Nana, you are in this area. Okay. And I'm always grateful to him that they should not allow anybody. <coughs> but I used to teach in Takwa the Polytechnic. Right. And I used to stay in Cape Coast and move, and you always see the Pra River. Right. And now, whenever I drive to Takwa and I see the Pra River, I get sad. I once traveled to uh, Kibi for right. a church program. Mm. And when you see the brim, it's just like, You've opened a tap or ten and just running on the surface. Wow. But this time around, when you go there, what do you see? If um, we don't take care, mm. and the next, I know we'll be talking about it, the next thing that if you don't take care is going to replace this uh, Galamse issue, mm. be the new bauxite find that we're all talking about. That the, uh, the, le the leveraging. I, I mm. believe um, it will be part <laughs> of our discussion so that we we'll add it to it and we'll look at right. issues today. Mm that has to do with the environment. Some, some say, Mr. Sampine, that we should put a, a hold on mining for at least five or ten years. Is it possible for us to do that? Is it, um, the, 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 the minerals they needs to be extracted for the development of the nation. Right. Um, Martin was talking about um, reclamation. Mm. It's a core component of what the ministry is doing. Right. Apart from re reclamation, they're also looking at alternative um, jobs. Um, a, a, livelihood right. programs as part of the package. Mm. I believe um, they had consultation with the CSR and some other agencies. Mm. They, they, they brought their costs, which is huge though, right. and they are looking for fundings to do that. Mm. Reclamation is just not a matter of covering the, 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 the pits that have been mm. dug, mm. but also getting soils that can generate mm. vegetation and all that. Mm. It's, it's an, an it's part of the, part of, part of, okay. the of, of the work that we need mm. to do. But uh, you were talking about, has it yielded some results? Right. Yeah. Um, the people of the Eastern region, mm. last week I heard them, some people on radio, okay. talking about that the brim is getting better right. because they stopped. They yeah. also have cited one or two rivers, the Oda River and mm. another, mm. that you find mm. that, right. yes, at certain portions, it's getting better. better. But there are also other places that people are hiding and it's still going on. I believe mm. that, yes, we need to intensify right. Uh, our our efforts mm. in, in getting these people out. Mm. We're talking about a comprehensive ban on mining. Exactly. And is it possible? Uh, mining is not only about gold. It's about all some other minerals. But right. Martin was talking about bauxite. bauxite and, yeah. You know, the attraction to do I'm saying bauxite is not there at all. But but to the extent that we're bringing home no. when uh, when uh, when uh, when, uh, when you are I'm bringing investors bauxite, yeah. to to um, mine. Okay. You see, when we started with mining, especially for gold in Ghana. It was done by these uh, corporate entities. Right. We were not confronted with the menace of Galamse, mm. okay, because it was regulated. Right. They were doing it in a certain refined, regulated mm. manner. When it gets to bauxite, extraction of bauxite, mm. if you know bauxite, it's similar to manganese. Right. And we have manganese at Insutan, Awaso, and the rest. Right. Have you ever heard no, that people we are... We only have bauxite at Awaso, not manganese. Mm. Well, but but in Suta, yeah. I'm talking about in Suta, in Suta you have right. manganese yeah. in it. Mm. But have you ever heard people doing I'm saying these areas for mm. bauxite and, 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 it, and maybe manganese. it's because they can't sell it on it's the in market. Market. because it needs to go through some processes. Right. It's not I mean it's not attractive and motive 
vetting enough to go into that. So once they are, these are, we are going to develop it on, on the lines of huge investor right. inputs. I believe yes, we're going to regulate it. Mm -hmm. We need to look at the environmental impact, and I believe that the, 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 all the assessment that they've made will take into consideration all the, of these right. matters. But I believe, yes, um, resources need to be mm -hmm. um, extracted for the use so, of so the So for nation. you, you are not but in support it should of, be, But of it should, be, it it should it. be done in a proper regulated manner. But, but we have laws. The laws are supposed to be mm. regulated. Yeah, the, the laws so were how there. did the laws fail? Because the people who were supposed to ensure that the laws remember were working. Remember when uh, Mr. Failed? Peter Mewu was going around, right. he told us the world that the whole country, I think we have only 12 mine inspectors. Right. One is situated at um, Obwasi, okay. and he needs to travel all the way to Dunko Abwasi and mm. all the rest to mm. make sure that things are going right. So when he leaves Obwasi and gets to um, I am free, okay. who takes charge of the Amansia areas? Right. So we are looking at that comprehensive thing, okay. getting lots of these guys employed, mm. trained and employed. And the School of Mines um, mm. at Takwa, mm. graduates and all that coming right. out to have well into that situation. We right. can train them up, give mm. them the requisite skills, mm. so that if you have lots of um, Inspectors. And when are we supposed to see this? This training? Oh, pretty, 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 pretty. I cannot, I cannot speak very much on the exact days by the ministry, right. but mm. no, pretty soon we're rolling in these things out. Okay. Uh, let me, let me come to you finally, money, Doc. Yeah. Um, so, Togbe's call is, is good, but to the extent that there's also the legal bit where I am chief and you come and you say, okay, you support my distillment and you distill me as a, as a house of chief. Mm. And I go to court and I get an injunction against you, or whichever it is. And we've seen it in so many instances where people are saying, you are not the rightful heir. And sometimes they go to court and they get judgment. How do they make some match that perhaps with the... I think um, Togbi is a very experienced person. And being the president of the House of Chiefs, I've considered all the legal framework and they know what they can do. You see, right. sometimes um, when we come together as a group, mm and uh, we agree on things or we form some norm, the norms, boundaries, and right. um, going outside that mm. becomes a problem. But a very quick one on the mining that they say the bauxite mm. is not um, uh, an avenue for Galamsey mm. and that investors are coming in. I think um, we really have to have a look at it again because mm. we started mining bauxite in Ghana for more than 60 years now mm. or 70 years now. We have not mined even up to 10% of the bauxite in Awaso. Mm. And currently, the company mining bauxite in Awaso is of the Busa Group, which is one of the first companies in China to have ever put up a bauxite smitter. Mm. The same bauxite smitter that smit 1 million tons of alumina in a year. Mm. Awaso can supply any such factory for the next 50 years. So we have the all already. So I don't understand why, if not for a guarantee for a loan, the new bauxite or in Kibi and those areas mm. need to be exploited because we have enough in Awaso. Mm. I am, I, I, I have, uh, I'm really, I'm a bauxite hauler. Right. I used to haul bauxite. Okay. And so you're speaking in Awaso, on authority. I'm speaking on authority because Awaso, we can do two million tons of bauxite mm. every year. And it can, we can do that for so more than So why aren't we years. doing it? That is why I Th just... This, so this new deal with the Chinese, will, will they do it? Do you see that happening? No, no. The you new deal with it. Chinese is just a, a guarantee for a loan, period. Because why am I saying Say this? it's not a loan. I'm coming, my brother. We have bauxite in Ghana, in Awaso. It's being mined by a Chinese company. Right. The Chinese company that is mining is one of the key companies that have the bauxite smitter okay. for alumina in China. Mm. And we say we are bringing in Chinese to come and mine bauxite again at another place. Mm. Whilst the oil in Awaso can supply, if indeed, there's no way in the next 10 years we're going to have a bauxite smitter in Ghana. Why mm. am I saying so? I'm saying so because the power need for the plant cannot be sustained in this country. Mm. Because how, how, how so? Good. Can't we harness our solar to, to My brother, it? solar cannot power bauxite. Before we get into that, mm. we have to have cheap power okay. for them. Because when we sell power more than 7 cents, 
all investors would like to move in the bauxite to their home country where the price it's per, cheaper. is cheaper. That is it. Now, the reason why they are looking for another bauxite mine mm. is just to hold the bauxite, the raw material, and take it away. Because from Mawasu to Takrade... We're, we're told it will not be taken away. We're told my that brother, uh, uh, it, it will stay here. My brother. You have doubts about it? My brother, um, we started mining bauxite in this country right. for a very long time. We have 15 years for a company that has a smitter okay. doing the mining in this country mm. for more than 15 years. They have not been able to put a smitter. And we are going to bring a company that they are bigger than mm. in China. Okay. We don't know the company, but if you read about the Bosa Group, it's the biggest in China mm. in bauxite uh, 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 smithing right. to alumina. This do at least mm. one million tons of alumina right. every year. Right. And ask Awasu. Awasu every year have to do more than one million bauxite. So, so for you, you this, think that this is not a good deal? It's not, a, it's not even a deal. It's just a guarantee yeah. issue. And with time, within the coming weeks, we're just going to do a good ride. We're going to come up and really expose this right. particular deal. Mm. Because some of us that have been in that industry, we know practically what is there. Right. And we're going to tell them that, look, we don't have any problem if government want to go and take a facility mm. or take facility for business people right. or guarantee for business mm. people to embark on a one-day Your, your one problem factory. is that they should not say they it should is not Because the oil in Awaso is even richer than the Inehini and um, uh, uh, Kibi mm. issue we are talking about. Mm. Now, we have enough bauxite oil in this country right. That's to undisputed. feed in Awaso right. in particular, okay. to feed any smitter. Mm. Because that's matter that the biggest company in China, Buasa Group, mm. they are having, right. it's being fed by Ghana. Anyway, so Mr. Pai, quickly, one minute on, yeah. on this one. Quickly. One minute would be enough, but I'll, I'll manage yes, it. Mm. Kindly, you please. see, I believe he needs to look at the, 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 the document that the, the team from Ghana presented right. to the Chinese mm. before he can, he can do this discussion. Right. The issue is not about only exploration of, of the of the oil mm. in Minehi and, and uh, Chibi. Mm. The quantum is bigger than that of uh, Awaso okay. or whatever that he's talking about. No. But mm. notwithstanding that, you see, he was talking Awasu about that we, we, we wouldn't have the capacity, the mm. energy sector, to feed these factories. Mm. Some seven months ago, we were told that we have, we have a surplus of about 5,000 megawatts by, by the NDC. Seven mm. months ago, mm. that a surplus of energy surplus of about 5,000 megawatts. So you have energy surplus. And we need that surplus to feed the industry. Mm. What are we talking about? Two, we're not looking at just excavating and taking the raw ore. Mm. We said we putting up smelters that we're going to give us the ingots that we're going to export mm. Mm. as refined material. He says it's all a small screen. It's just <laughs> How a, is it a, small a, screen? a guarantee no, for uh, a facility. No, no, uh, no it's not. Like, but, but I mean, they, they signed a memorandum of understanding. Right. They are coming here mm. for fine-tuning of, of the documentation. Right. They are going to do the, the, the feasibility. Mm. They are going to look at all that. Right. And is it not possible mm. to have... I remember the NDC itself told us they had intentions of even... Exploring the Chibi or deposits that, that mm. some of them would have objected. Of course, you, 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 if, if you, you want to object, player, if you want to object to it, that's your business. Um, but as a nation and as a government now, right. we look at it and do the best for the nation. Right. Are we not having a space in Navu who deal with it? Mm. Okay, so if there are issues with uh, the environment, okay. we incorporate it into the main plan. Mm. If there are issues with energy, mm. we incorporate it in the main I don't believe the vice president and the team went to China just like that without considering all of these matters. Anyway, the document yeah, is huge. Just a minute on this. No, no, we need to Just a minute on this. No, no, we need you to say it's it's one, one, one it's, thing it's is it's important that is, we Mr. all look at it at that, from that angle. Mr. Right? Mr. Yes. Is it going to be beneficial mm. to the nation? We're looking at the rate development. And all that, a, a whole, a bigger no, company. No, 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 business no, 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 no businessman, no businessman has a raw material, mm. and you say that I'm not going to prospect. I'm not going okay. to do feasibility to get a new one. Okay. Where you have a very rich one on standby, all what you need to do is to blast 
and hold to your side right. to do. But we're we'll getting to the details. Uh, uh, gentlemen, let's we mention we, we want to develop maybe, the boxing maybe industry. Maybe at another time on another Apart platform, we'll be able to developing the boxing do industry. a clear discussion on that. And the, um, exploring the Ginehini and the Chebi right. concessions. What have we Once done? You have what have we done with the Awasu? Awasu one. Mm -hmm. Definitely, it's going to be... He argues that no. Awasu has not been exploited. It can feed us, it can uh, feed us for the next 50 years. You that if we want to develop the bauxite industry and get that investment from it and help My build the we nation, can get five we're going to million neglect tons. Awasu? Yes. Anyway, let's so go on. Five million the, 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 from Awasu for the next 50 years. Well, Doc, we'll move on. Well, page three of the Daily Graphic. Interesting. You can join us with your thoughts and comments on WhatsApp as always. 050 but uh, page three of the daily graphic says 197 BRT buses are certain idle because only 48 are on the road as uh, the BRT routes are not ready. And uh, Fred Chidi is the, uh, what do you call it, is the, is the communications uh, manager of the Ayalulu bus service. As well, it's kicked up. People are liking it. Patronage is okay. Uh, ideally, they expect that 24 passengers will be picked from uh, each bus stop when they get there on the average. But what they get now is 18. So they don't break uh, even. Uh, and, they, and they may be running at a loss if, if we don't take care. Um, the bus system is good. You've lived outside before, both gentlemen, mm. of, of course. I, I've, not, I've not lived there. Maybe I've visited them, but I've not lived yes, there. Yes, but you went, there to, you went there to live there small. <laughs> but the point is that you know how the bus systems work out there. And we're trying to import that idea here and to make our lives better and easier. Um, this BRT business has been there for, for on the paper for a long, long, long time. I remember President Kufour yeah. back in the day spoke about it. President Mills mm. spoke about it. We're in 2017 and we still don't have the BRT effective. What is, what is our problem? It's about the infrastructure, especially um, the road infrastructure. Then also about regulations and how other road users interfere mm. in that. When you go to the, the country that you are talking about, right. the system is said that mm. the, the, the bus system is so effective mm. that if they are leaving this point at 705, right. 705, it's gone. Right. So if you've bought an advance ticket and you need to use that bus for 705 and you miss it, mm. you need to wait for the next one. No bus will come and wait for you and leave there at 8 o'clock. Right. This is also another important mm. thing. Then we need to develop the, the lanes properly. Mm. Um, you, when you use the Achimota Highway, right. you find some. Exactly. Some, 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 some. How do I put it? <laughs> See some it. effort to get the, the roads done, right. but it's not complete. Mm. Um, the same applies to the um, um, Taneshi to right. the. The Accra Central. Accra Central right. Absolutely. So I believe that, yes, we need to develop all of this. Mm -hmm. If they have dedicated lanes that they are going to use mm -hmm. and they run effectively, people are going to patronize it. And oh. then also, they are currently mm -hmm. how the, the ticketing. Right. I, I, I've learned you need to buy exactly. a, a ticket. It's automated, so you need to buy, buy and a, use a it yeah. at Gosara. They should also introduce. Um, the, the other system the pay where as you go. What we pay as you go because the other worlds, apart from those who have advanced tickets and the computers that they, they, they buy, they also mm. have people who pay mm. the slot in their mm. coins to board those bus. I believe that, yes, people who have wanted to use them, mm. but because of the system of ticketing, right. they're unable to use it. So mm. if they're able to introduce and get means where they will, they will make sure people are checked from right. corrupting the, right. the, the system by mm. pocketing the process, um, uh, people also join. Mm. And it's not a bad idea. President Kufo started this. Um, I, I, I remember Honorable Joe Weiss and right. Osei Osei right. was part In of it. Charge, they yeah. went to China and other Holland mm. and the rest to study the, the system and look at those buses. But we need to improve it. And right. it's something good for the nation. Mm. It will ease the traffic on our roads, especially mm. um, those who commute with um, the trot Doc, the th rest. there's mm -hmm. encroachment mm -hmm. uh, by the trot And I saw this happening. Mm. Um, where the truck truck drivers think that the buses are coming to take over their jobs. And so uh, you find them at the bus base, they are encroaching their bus stops and all of that. Um, how should we manage this? Uh, knowing that the Trotro <laughs> private transport <laughs> operators, they also want to eat. Mm. These bus service, they also want to eat. How do we go about it? I think uh, it all boils on management. Mm. Um, the management of this bus, rapid bus system, have to be on their work. I mean, uh, as a nation, if any other business that we talk about, whether 
throttle mm. um, drivers are encroaching. Right. It's their duty to liaise with the police right. and make sure that, look, these are our lanes mm. and our lanes should be B for us. Right. The throttle will not be allowed to get to those bus stops. Mm. If it's about ticketing, we have to make sure that they get the best ticket and always make sure that, you see, the ticket should be available at a point where the people will buy. Right. And even introduce people buying it in advance. Right. When people buy in advance and discourage mm. people by paying on board, mm. by increasing the fare if you have to pay on board. Right. I mean, it's everywhere, mm. when in Europe and everywhere where the, um, you have this bus system. Right. I mean, the most recent one is what is in Emirates. Mm. I mean, mm. you have them. And um, the management system is so good that if you want to buy for one week, okay. you have discount. If you want to buy for one month, you have discount. Mm. So that they can get money far in advance to right. do whatever they need to do. Mm. Because um, if we appoint management, you know, as uh, Mr. Pines groups will always say that they have them in. We should just see their men in action and making sure that they fix this. Mm. This is what Ghanaians want. That is why they voted everybody to power. Mm. Fix that. Um, we should not have this basic city now while people are still struggling to right. go to work. Mm. At the cheaper, we say that people say fares are high at their time because they said they will reduce it. They should make sure that their people, the men they have, mm. fix this issue. Don't that me, if I have a good bus system, mm. I would have parked my car sometimes mm. at the bus station. To, to the extent that in, in this country, if you drive a car, you are considered a big man. Uh, will people leave their cars to go and drive uh, ride in buses? My brother, for example. I'm prepared to pack my bus, my, my car, ah. my mm. truck, and join the bus. I mean, in uh, Adenta, I can see a lot of people who are coming to Accra. They pack their bus, they pack their cars and mm. join the bus. Right. The only thing is that if the management is good, mm. the people do not overload. I mean, last time that I used one of these bus right. from Accra to Adenta, mm. if you look at the way the place was choked and it's mm. an air-conditioned bag, air-conditioned bus, mm. and... Funny smells. Uh, the <laughs> things that people have put in, <laughs> I mean, you would not be interested to go in there again. Right. But if management... Th things like what? Well, people go to market. Okay. They put all those things in. More money and things. That's what you want to My brother. Uh, my brother I is I have not, experienced it's it, not, so I, I know. It's not easy. <laughs> and, and the day you were on board and you see petty quarrels, you have to sit here, this one. Have, and you see, when the buses are even full, especially the one plying the route to mm. Adenta, the people will still be loading. Right. Which is unfair. Mm. I mean, we have to make, the management have to be, government have to make sure that they are men, they are putting in charge of this. Right. They give them their clear tax and the benchmarks mm. and make sure that they have performance in this. Right. Not to just be there and be taking fast salaries and just go. As a you country, you don't know they are taking fast salaries. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> but we know no, that chief executives. No, that. we know that chief executives. I'm not saying okay. it, this one is not politics. Okay. It's about the people chief that Ghana, we are paying them to do a job. They right. have to fix it mm. because there's the, we have the buses. The right. only thing we need is the buses. We In have fact, it. the buses that are idle now are more than the buses that are on yeah, the road. Yeah. And, yeah. and you know that when the buses sit idle for a long time, they will have. But you see, why would we import buses when we know the capacity to ply the roads is not there. Oh, but this this is just... Um, okay. uh, this so is you just mean the buses just get the capacity well, and let's go. But, but this, this is just, Mr. Sampai, this is just, uh, we're told when it started about six months ago that it's just on a pilot basis. So they're doing about three or four corridors and it's about two or CD 90 pesos or so if you ride no, but, 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 but my dear, in Kumasi, if, for if, example, if, we, if could you have, bringing, we could have if it you are bringing, If you are bringing it on pilot basis, why do you bring that quantum? Is it that somebody wanted to bring it that quantum so Maybe that there economy be, there'll be some cut? Oh. And that's if you, no if you buy more. Oh, why wouldn't oh, that so go there? Somebody, why wouldn't that go there? Why can't you brand the bus? Rebrand the bus at that cost, these buses. Oh. Rebrand them Please. at that cost. And we can, it's telling me somebody Please. cannot Please. deliberately bring somebody those, branded those the bus, buses. Somebody have branded the bus. It caused the nation. The facility somebody have branded the bus. It caused the nation. The bus are idle. Every day is costing the nation. Yes. Let's, do, let's do a calculation of how much we lose mm. per day mm. of these buses that sitting is, idle that is exactly in, and compare it that with the exactly bus running. You what see, we, do we should not do these that. These buses Pine, we were should not imported do that. into the we country not do that. when we knew clearly well that we do not have enough lanes for the buses. Oh, but now the buses months. are here. What if do we do? If we don't have the lanes, we, yeah, that's the why bus could still ply the normal lanes. But now the buses are here. What do we do? That is why we need to you don't the need sector. the lanes to Nobody is saying that we are not going to develop the, 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 the sector further. Mm. But we're looking at the, the, 
the, the, the, the onset of the program. Right. Why would you have well, gone Mr. Like that? Now, need the now you have a minister for I'll, transport. Of course, you have yeah. a minister for transport. Can you whisper a word to him? That I'll, 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 go to, I'll go to his office from this Please point. Please do. Please have him, a we don't need the links. We don't need the links. But you see, one important thing to do is also... You need to get to the link. They are all of this mess. And if the buses are still important is to decongest the central business district. When you go to the United Kingdom, for instance, get into central London, you, you need to pay an extra five pounds an hour where you, when, when you enter and you go and park your vehicle mm. there. You see, so that when you have this system also in place, um, the people patronize it. It's the same thing because, in Accra. Because, because coming to because park you your vehicle cannot there go to the central business district and park. Anyway, people will want to use the buses. But people, Put the people buses are going there. Let's do some of on your road and some of your messages uh, at this point. And uh, very interesting conversation, I must say. Uh, well, so. On WhatsApp here, you say, well, you're the best TV3. I don't think the change we're experiencing is what we were promised uh, by the MPP. Even salaries of workers, they can't pay. 2020 will soon come. Adam Sinkuman said, good morning. The country uh, can be on the way to develop only when we promote practical science and technology. This can be achieved when we put in place a national development program and not to uh, depend on political party manifesto. Annoying Takrade. Good morning, TV3. You are the best station around the world. Please, can you tell the ECG directors to come down to my community because we don't understand certain figures on our bill. I'm uh, Obeng Kwesi in Awin in the Western region. Well, is it? It's a good call by the National House of Chiefs. We have to fight this galamse together as a nation, but looking at the negative effects it has on our natural resources from Seidu Salim in Tamale. Alachi Masood in Tamale says, Good morning to you, TV3. The illegal sale of contaminated fuel by the MD of Bost is totally unwanted. Heads must roll, you say. Michael Amini in the UK says, as there's a general public, uh, 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 as there's a general public uh, concern about how some contaminated fuel finds its way into the open market, and uh, a call for a transparent investigation to be carried out to ascertain the veracity of this whole controversy, the minority's call for the MD to step aside is baseless and misplaced. One, because they don't. Uh, have the credibility and moral justification because under their regime, Ghanaians witnessed the alarming rate of fuel contamination and unprecedented corruption allegations at Bost and those uh, public officials who are determined to sabotage the good governance by President Kufuado and his government to serve their own parochial and partisan interests will be exposed in due course. Good morning. Uh, what will the workers of Bost lose or gain if this, uh, in this if they stay out of the investigation. Uh, you see, this is the very reason why the MD must step aside before the investigation even starts. Or does the move benefit all the workers or that corruption? I think they do it together with the MD and share. What government uh, is this from Ras uh, Chalis, Accra Newtown, Arab City, leveraging a national, a natural mineral uh, minerals with the Chinese 19 billion US dollars and will be signed by the government is a guarantee to bring in more Chinese to destroy our environment. Stop Galam saying now, hashtag from Yamoha in Wa. Good morning, TV3. Glad to see my former lecturer, Martin Luther, continue the good work. Kinsley Akim Tafo. And please ask the NDC man why their party did not work on the uh, Awaso concession if they knew there was so much to feed the country for 50 years. They should morning. keep their figures to their chest and let us be a bend in Adenta. TV3, the best. You always make me enjoy your program every morning. Greetings to you and you, Senior Bright. Uh, make make Maz uh, Praman in Kumasi. And Idris Uebi Fuseni says, um, in Yansegu says, the current administration stopped deceiving itself. Uh, why do you say you're fighting Galamse in a country and at the same time giving our bauxite to Chinese to come and mine uh, is what hypocrisy is all about, you mean to say. 2020 come soon, then we show them the exit. Good morning. In fact, doctor has really educated me this morning by explaining details of the issues on discussion. Malik Adama says, so please and please, we are pretending to be fighting this Galamse. The government is not doing enough. Can anybody tell me that the Galamse has stopped in any single illegal site. It is also true, uh, true that the police and military support Galamse in this country by escort, est escorting money, you, you, I'm sure it says escorting, uh, from the illegal miners and allowing them to continue. If uh, this should continue, uh, or they should continue, oh, I can't make head or tail out of the whole message. Well, good morning, TV3. Uh, Johnny, it will interest you to know that I teach a class that has no single textbook 
for the teacher to refer to. So how will a pupil from such a school compete with those in well-resourced schools? Our situation is really frustrating. So government should do something about it. The school is located in the Kasina Nankana West District, uh, Paga, from uh, Domotier. Interesting. That's, that's a sad one. And that's a sad one then. Here in Accra, the Ministry of Health, uh, GH, GHS, you find a headmaster who will sack students for playing cards and <laughs> not allow them to write their promotional exam. Mr. Uh, Felix Ohini, good morning to you. Three days, you have not picked up your phone. At the next point, we'll put you on TV. But, but let's wrap up this conversation. The, the boss staff are supporting their MD. Uh, it's, it's, it's a good thing to do or not a good thing to do, Mr. Pine? They're yeah, supporting the MD. <coughs> say he should not step aside, and, and he's not done anything wrong. Maybe one minute each on it, and because we've run out of time. Yeah, I, I, I am not a worker there, and uh, I don't know the situation that the workers are going through, and therefore I'm talking about it. But reading from the narratives, another thing that is, is on social media mm. and the press and the rest, yeah, you want want to believe that yes, they also know what is going on and therefore believe that uh, they have to talk about some of these things. Right. When people were putting it out there that the contaminated food had got into the market, right. we all got, your cameras were there right. to tell the world that uh, uh, the seals are not been broken into and therefore that mm. allegation from mm. some the quarters that brought in. So for you it's a good thing that the staff has No, not it, I'm not talking about that it's a good thing or it's not a good thing. I'm talking about it that they, they know what is Inside, actually happening right. there okay. and therefore what they tell us um, it's also important. That is why I appreciate the fact that the Energy Ministry has set up a committee to investigate all these matters. Should MD because step if you look aside? at the list that is circulating, mm. talking about that, even in, in last year, last two years, and the company that bought contaminated fuel, mm. it tells you. Should the MD step aside, Mr. Sampine? Should he step the, the aside? There are that he should step aside, Mr. That's, that's, the, that, that, that's the opinion of, of people. But if he comes out to tell us, uh, he's also giving his narrative that he's not in any, any way wrong. The ministry felt that, yes, there was something wrong with mm. his being there right. for investigation to continue. They would have said that as part of the committee, the MD should step right. aside. And while they did not say so, I wouldn't sit here and tell the world mm. that the MD should Mr. Sampai is aside. the uh, MPP Ashanti Regional Secretary. Uh, yes, Doc, um, finally, sh should, should the boss the MD step aside? Immediately. With immediate effect. Why? Uh, because his staff says even no. what the staff did yesterday is an insult to the minister. You think so? Yeah, it is. I mean, a minister has set up so? a committee, mm. and you're saying that the committee is was a book committee because mm. the people that they were fighting are the people you set up to make up a committee. So right. eventually, they, either the boss. Is that, is um, that what they said? Yes, yes. Mm. Please, please listen to anyway, me. So please, uh, we're, please. We're either on. the no, boss, no. MD, step aside. Or Minister, because what they did have implicated either the boss, MD, or right. the minister. Okay. So one of them should just <laughs> step aside and <laughs> um, we go on. Because well, one, one of them, like, who are anyway. all of this. Anyway. You see, you this is the, and the, where the politics has come in is when product. they bring in the former MD. Right. Either you just rarely see that these people are just doing politics. Dr. That's Martin that's Luther Obing is the former <laughs> well, DC of Laguna East. Mr. Sampine is the Ashanti <laughs> Regional Secretary of the MPP. Tomorrow we have a Jollof War. Uh, which is your favorite Jollof? Nigerian, Ghanaian, or Senegal? Mm, Jollof def war? Definitely, as a Ghanaian, <laughs> I'll go for my favorite Ghanaian. Do you Jollof. like the Kanzo, the Jollof Kanzo? The, the Kanzo, Asiano. Uh, Oh, you see, let me tell you a story. I, uh, you see, we prepared this jollof at home. I wasn't in, mm. wifey was in, and my daughter, you know, the council is, I, I like it very well. She did some excavation. Yeah. She went deep, and the, and the, the main rice was hanging. When we came, it just fell in because she had gone to do galamse for the council. Uh, as if it's some point there. He will be at the jollof war tomorrow. You can't miss it. Doc, you like jollof council? I do too? like the one that... Um, Ghanaians prepare for Donald Trump, you know, all over. Of course, social of course. So I like <laughs> it so which, much. Which one is that? But I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you very much. We'll return shortly with sports. Thierry Nyan is standing by to bring you all the action. Stay with us here on New Day.